This is 901 Live, brought to you by Memphis Podcast. Oh, let me mind. Oh, today we going to get real. <laughs> I think this is going to be one of the realest episodes. We're going to talk about relationships. Relationships is a big thing. Like, now hold up, man. I'm messing up now. Hold up, man. I got a new co-host that I ain't brought in. And that's messed up, man. I ain't bring him in, man. That's my new co-host, man. Gonna leave me out here hanging, huh? Gonna leave him out there hanging. Ain't gonna say nothing about me. Like it was on Three Strikes. You left a homie on stuff. You got a white dude in the building. You ain't gonna say nothing about him. Man, go introduce yourself, man. Sean Frazier. Y'all already know who I am. Man, talk to them folks. Y'all done seen me before. Y'all know me. Red Dog know me. Podcast world about to know who I am now. This is for podcast, y'all. That's why he was so quick. <laughs> That's why he was so quick. But this is my new co-host. Thank you for having me, Rick. He going to have the real. He going to bring the real. All right. I don't know where we at, and I don't know when it's going to earn. <laughs> but the Grizz is lost in L.A. So what, Rich? One thing about Memphis, when our team doing good, the crime rate low. <laughs> is it like, though? So the four lead motherfuckers start shooting. Is it though? <laughs> Nigga like, fuck this shit, bro. I would. I, I was gonna stop robbing. Ready? They're still stealing, stealing uh, Kia's like, like I, how, easy to. You know one thing about Kia's? Uh, uh, why steal a Kia? How fast is I a damn want, Kia? I wouldn't even want that motherfucker. I wouldn't even want What the fast you gonna go? 65? <laughs> <laughs> Running from the police? I'm in 65. I ain't no tad. Like, I'm, I'm straight. I'm good. <sighs> I ain't got no problems. I ain't got plugged on them iPhone cords, you know, Kia. How to steal it? USB. You know what I'm yeah. Same day you charge your phone yeah. with, you can steal a whole car. I'm gonna take the whole car. Damn, bro. <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. Love my city. Yep. All right. So this episode gonna be about relationships. It's like Shit. you can't get enough of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't get enough of them. Show sure, no, you know what to say. <laughs> I had enough of them. Shit, I'm done. All right. So I want to talk about men emotions. Why men don't accept their emotions, and why we gotta act like we ain't got them? You know that when when you text her at eleven, and she didn't text back to one, you in your feelings. Why, as men, we can't acknowledge our emotions? <sighs> because we're not supposed to, Rick. We're not supposed to. Where the fuck? What book that's in? We're not supposed to. I mean, what men, book that's in? All right, so, what book that's in? All right, so like my dad was like, no, you know, boy, don't don't cry. Like boys don't cry. Boy, like we're not supposed to have those kind but of emotions. Do you cry? Well, yeah. God of damn, man. Yeah, we might talk about something today. I might bust out crying. But you know what? <laughs> it's because my because my dad beat my ass and told me don't cry. He told me don't cry. So now I'm like, oh, I just want to touch. I want to cry. Sometimes mm. you just want to cry about some shit. Man, but we ain't supposed I, to. I, 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 Keep it real. I don't mind being the man, cause you got you got. I might have to cry sometimes. You got the alpha, the alpha, alpha spear. That's, got some, the alpha that's, spear. that's some bullshit. Alpha spear. You supposed to act cool. Yeah, and right. And you do all these list of emotions. Manosphere. Look Thank at you, him. buddy. He be watch manosphere. You supposed to do the producer is telling us what to say. Manosphere. Right. You do all these emotions. You do this. You don't call. You don't do this. But I be in my emotions. I be sitting there thinking like, damn, I want this bitch call. I mean, but I mean, shit. Really? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. Fuck this. Really? Shit. We all. Hey, hey, hey. We all uh, do that though, Rick. Right? I'm just saying. I love you. I love you. And why the hell you ain't call me? I text you at nine forty-five. It's one o'clock. You know what they call it nowadays, Rick? Right? Call it. Toxic as a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't think this toxic. Toxic as fuck. Man. But you feel it. It goes. Bro, if you call your not, bro, if you call your girl, right? You call your gal at yo, a certain time. My gal. I'm, said, I'm giving the quotation. Gal, that's G A L. G A L. Your old lady, whatever you want to call her. Yeah. Your girlfriend. Yeah. You call her at nine o'clock. Right. And she don't answer you. She don't say nothing until one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Do I need to tell you what's going on? Is some is some dude sitting there with the nuts hanging out? <laughs> exactly, Ricky. That's it's what I believe. Somebody sitting on the side of the some bed. Some dude is because and their nuts are right on the edge of the bed. Right too. on the edge of the bed, and he pumping them hoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, you got to deal with that. But it's hard. Damn, my heart dropped in. It's like, why yeah. do I have emotions? Yeah, just she over cheating on your ass. <laughs> I, I 
I believe women That's the reality, Rick. Hey, women are came like men. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. What are you talking about? All right. So we're gonna empower women. They're gonna <laughs> they don't, they don't <laughs> do the fuck. Hard. They these mother rat, they may wear yeah. old cutlass. These mm -hmm. what it is, they may have a cutlass got a breed, you know, with reels on it. Gonna pull up on a box right with some twelves in the back. Pull up on your ass like she the goddamn man. All right, it's a certain thing called pretty privilege. Right? <sighs> like if you dealing with a pretty woman, it gives her time. Yeah. I get Because you be you want the counselor, but yeah, you can't. I get it. But you want the counselor to be like, look at bitch, I'm done. I'm done dealing with you. Yeah, but, but she's fine, so goddamn so you fine. Right. You're like, damn, I keep being yeah. pretty head body. Like, how do you think time. that works? How, how you ever done have you ever dealt yeah, been with with a woman that I've never been there. Um What you do? No Did you trick off? Oh, yeah, and I'm in order to know details. A pretty girl make you trick off. Pretty girl will make you trick off. Pretty girl will make you do some shit that you shouldn't be doing. You know what I mean? Like going to places and trying to beat up the new dude and all that the, kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, no. Nah, like, driving like like buy a house and shit, nice thing you done like, with. Bitch, where you at? Like, I'm right here. Like, all right. But I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> Come kill you and them. But I done drove by that house just see if another car was there, man. I, how do you my feel? My ex-girlfriend used to drive by my house and yell, bitch, out the window. How did you hear that bitch, though? Like, oh, I'm like, because my window was right here, and I hear, bitch. I'm like, did you just drive by my motherfucking house? She's like, yes, I did. That's what you do? Yeah. Me and Quita nah. drove by your house. The things, man. The things. <sighs> That's tough, man. I mean, women are crazy. I'll tell you bro. something. The worst thing I did. I'm gonna take the worst thing. I'm glad you admitted to being a toxic motherfucker, though. That, that's, oh, I ain't that's mad. Good. I am who I am. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the worst thing I did one time. I went over my uh, baby mama house. I looked in the trash to see if any rubbles. Looked in, in the trash. If any rubbles. Ricky? I went in the trash. <laughs> Cash the whole jail. <laughs> I went in the trash. You went through the trash, Rick. I went. I went over there. Now she was trying. <laughs> she was trying to. You know, she's trying to be nice. She let me. She gave me a key to that. I said, "All right, you dealing with the kids." You know what I'm saying? That's my camera. You see, you hear this shit? That's crazy. Go ahead. You see my camera? <laughs> How many niggas have done it? So, <laughs> <laughs> so what I did? She was being nice. I ain't never done that shit, Rick. You know that shit? Oh yeah, I told you. It gets real here, boy. This nine on one live brought to you by Memphis Podcast. Holla at me, man. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like we need to start over at this point. Jesus Christ, Rich. So, uh, you I admit said, to the crimes in this said, motherfucker. Hell no. When you fucking, you really ain't thinking that much. I said, hey, I want to see if this bitch been fucking. <laughs> she been fucking. <laughs> that's, a, that's how you tell? She been wooden and fucking. So she was on vacation and she gave me the key to us. She said, Long pick the kids up, do what you do. I went in the garbage can. Now I went in the garbage can outside. And the motherfucker outside. Inside, outside. That's what I meant. So outside, Judge, you found some inside. Magnum XLs in that motherfucker. Man, I seen that motherfucking Magnum. <laughs> Boy, I went from 5'8 to 3'2. <laughs> Boy, I got short in the motherfucker. Oh my god! I was short. In, in, in more ways than one. I was a midget. more ways than one, huh? I was a midget. That man done dare your ass. That motherfucker. Oh, I, I that called him. dope, goddamn it! And I asked her the most obvious question: You been fucking? <laughs> it hurt me, man. It hurt me. Man. <laughs> She's like, oh, all right, I'll say it. Never mind. But yeah, that no, that's crazy. <laughs> all right. It's like going through somebody's phone, though, Rick. You know you don't find uh, something, Rick. I went through a, I went through a phone and an iPad. And I'm going to tell you something. I got to talk like that. That fucked me up last. What, I got, what, I, I got what talk. happened? No, it, I didn't realize Facebook was on, like, multiple devices. Yes, it does. Yeah, and I got yeah, I got talk like a motherfucker with my ex-girlfriend. You did? Yeah, I was, like, 23 or something. Yeah. She was like, oh, really? <laughs> got my ass. Yeah, that was, yeah. You that out was, here fucking. That was the end of that. Out here having sex. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I'm going to go outside and smoke. And she's like, let me have the uh, laptop. So she's doing whatever on the laptop and decides she don't do a thing. And yeah, I got, I got fucked over on that. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you. Really ain't doing nothing, but she taught me talking. I went through, it kind of was like, eh, I ain't going to say recently, but I went through there, right? And I look at it, because in a relationship with a woman, you know, y'all are cordial. You know, you're having cordial sex. Of course. It ain't that wild sex. It ain't that 
the shit you see. No, you with somebody for a long time. You it don't. ain't that Fifty Shades of Grey shit. No, no. So, you know, it's like, hey. I wish I would have slapped my girl. She'd you know, put you my kiss, ass out. You kiss on the jaw, you roll right there. You know, hey, drive yeah. the book. You know. Yeah. I went through her thing, It's and, and she asked this dude. And I, the thing that hurt me was that she was a different woman with him than she was with me. She told him, I want you to hit me from the back. Rub my click and call me a bald-headed bitch. <laughs> that shit hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> was she a bald-headed bitch? Her is low. That bald head bitch. You ain't never asked me. Why you ain't why you ain't call a bald head bitch, man? She like to use But why you ain't asked me to do it? You shit. supposed to you supposed to know to do it. What? Cause I bring the roll tail home and the wings and all? I'm about to tuck your dumb ass, man. Hey, you are crazy. I'm supposed to say Tommy a bald head bitch. Make me be I that one hurt her. her. It didn't hurt her. That's what she wanted to call a bald head bitch. Me, make me be that nigga. <laughs> And a lot of times in relationships, long term. But do you really want it to be? The, do you really yes. want that to be the way it goes? Yes, I want to come in there and say every day, slap this ass every day. That's, you, you deal with that. Eat this pussy, nigga. <laughs> Goddamn dog, <dumb> right there. <laughs> and you better eat it. <laughs> eat this motherfucker <laughs> like a pizza from the school. No, really. <laughs> That stool pizza was fire, though. That stool pizza was fire. That's cool. I wasn't afraid if we had that stool pizza. You better eat this pussy. And the little ice cream pizza. that came in a little block. Oh, man. That yeah. little ice cream, the little white ice cream, it was pure white. I don't know how they got it. I don't. It, it's No it, vanilla ice cream it's is a that white. type shit going on there. That shit was good as fuck, though. What couples that have been with each other for 10 plus years is to keep the spice. Because I'm going to tell you, put the camera on me. Put that goddamn camera. <laughs> Put that camera. You so many bitch in. Telling you, man. He means this shit. And I'm telling you, women, right now, keep the spice. Because if you don't keep the spice, they're gonna be start going on porn. They won't see some wild shit. Some white keep water. Your put your house. Girl. The Bible says a marriage bed is undefiled. Post some syrup on that motherfucker. <laughs> Tell me right now. We're doing God's work. We're doing God's work. Post some syrup. Just wipe it down there. Just, just post some syrup on your dick. Hunt your mama. God damn it. <laughs> Free roll ups. Okay, that was right. Free roll ups. <laughs> roll ups. You're going to lose them. I'm just you're saying. Gonna lose them. They're going to be looking for the other one. Fruit roll ups. I know. You're going to remember this. It's God's work. Keep the spice or keep the fruit one or the other. That's right. Put the fruit right, roll ups. Keep, you can put two strawberries by your nuts. She's right. I'm just saying. Tell baby, get them strawberries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blueberries. Trying to help you now. Blueberries work too. Can't just wake up. You just can't every night go ahead and make that chicken and Grapes. get on top and go boom, boom, boom and go to sleep. Grapes no. work. Grapes. They well, fit. The, uh, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> grapes, yeah. I never thought about grapes. <laughs> Shit, that might mean. Some blueberries and that thing. They, they fit. I mean, they fit you, you kind of took them in. And, man, we are heaven, folks. Here. All right. Well, okay. Dang. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Why most relationships don't last? Why? I mean, it depends on who you're talking to. Why they don't? Why most average relationships like five to six years? Why is it? Um, social media. Social media. There's too many options. We didn't have those options back in the day. When you were doing the school, you didn't have no phone. You had to deal with who you had you in had front the chat of you. line. I don't know if you remember the chat, chat line. line. Yeah, Boy, I remember chat the chat line. line. be busting, man. Dude. Man, you get on that phone and sit there. I don't want to talk you about the chat line. You have a request line. from Jennifer. Bruh, the chat line used to be yeah. so to crazy. To accept, press day. one. You know, The chat line used to be. Chat line, what the shit? That's the first time I saw her take the weird off. We, we, me and a couple of my buddies, we went. We went to some chat line to her house, and she was like, Damn. yeet. She I was like, all right, this is too much. We got to go. We got to get the fuck up out of here. She done, she, she done sold us her goddamn dream. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was crazy. Chat line was, back in the day, that was Man, legendary. Bless. Yes. I, boy. Everybody was on the chat line back in the day. We didn't have, we didn't have GPS. Like we, didn't have GP, we didn't have GPS on the phone. We found a way to get there, though. 
Oh no! You that day you give me an address, I'm gonna get on uh, MapQuest or some shit. I'm gonna find that motherfucker now. I'm gonna, be, that, I'm gonna get that's, there. That's when people you know, say it out and shit. That's when people say I stay in Winchester and Mendehall, and you just drove to that motherfucker. Yeah, like, like, I'm in Winchester like, and Mendehall. So where you at from here? <laughs> Go down three lights to the left and call me once you get to that light. It's an excellent. Line. Exactly. Why I think relationships don't last? Um, unforgiveness. And we want, we really want people to know everything right off. It's not going to happen. I think it's so it hard. It takes years. Like, how long you been with your girl? Two. Two years? Two years. Not very long, but for me, that's a that's a decent amount of time. Right. In them two I'm 36. Years. I mean, so you got to imagine. In them two years, y'all learn each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, most, no, me and my dad are straight. That's why, you know, I want to be, you know, like, I want to say what I want to say as, as far as uh -huh. stuff, uh -huh. but I definitely don't say nothing too sideways. Say nothing. Cause Cause she, gonna watch she don't it. knock me across she my mother's head. Yeah. She's going to be like, knife. Did you, did you get She's it? She's the did, boss. You better not say nothing. Once I understood that, once I understood that, so it, that kind of changed Okay, things. this is transition then. So happy wife, happy life. Absolutely. Why didn't Ram shit with a, with a man? <laughs> get your man, you can stay in. Yeah, yeah. What, hey, what the fuck? How women get a whole slogan? Take your man, bro, you can stay in. Me just <laughs> got <laughs> me just got some power in the last few hundred years, bro. Like this is brand new shit. Oh, shit, I'm sick of this shit. Women been running this shit I'm for a sick, long time. I'm sick of this shit. The pussy is that good it's, that it, it's, it conforms us. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, yes. The answer to that question is absolutely Pussy yes. It's conforming us, man. We ain't men. When has it not? Gladiators. When has it not, bro? Think about Unitas in three hundred. Adam gave part of his body for some pussy. He was like, "I'll give you this, but you give me some pussy. We do it." Unitas, bro. Aru. What happened to <laughs> Helen Aru. of Troy? The pussy that got that damn strong. The pussy saying, "Aru." Helen of Troy, bro. You ever watch any of that? You ever, you ever, bro, they fought a motherfucking die, war over some pussy, bro. They brought a, they thought, bro, that pussy must have been that good that they thought they needed to fight a fucking war over it. I am tired. I'm tired. I don't know about you. Cause, you know, I'm dating now, man. You, you know, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. I'm done. I'm, no, I'm done with that, 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 that shit. That's over. I'm dating now. Yeah. Why pussy is so expensive now? Women Cause you dating. start believing in that pussy. Cause you dating. They don't start believing like, hey, nigga ain't gonna get right, he want this. He want that damn pussy. No, because you starting off like that. He want that damn pussy. You can't start off like that, you know what I mean? Like, you can't start off with a... Bitch got under sword naked pussy. <laughs> Strong. Nigga, this pussy good. You gonna do what it take. Strong like bull. I use the good razors. I use the little razors. You want that pussy, you gonna... Pussy them became such a commodity. It's been a commodity. You had pimps. You had all this. Women. I don't think it should be that. You Rick, know, prostitution is the oldest profession in the world, right? That's the oldest profession. Um, They've been selling pussy since you could you could sell pussy. Since you could sell pussy, they've been doing it from the very <clears throat> fucking beginning, the jump. Um. In one respect, I believe in what the great, I call him the great Rasul. And if you don't know who Rasul is, you're not a comic book fan, first of all. You don't know who Rasul is. Mm -mm. Exactly. I'm not going to explain to nobody. Do your research. <laughs> the great Rasul said, women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. I don't know how I feel about that. I like women, that. I like that. But I don't Women know how control I feel about it. the great Rasul. I ain't gonna say his name on here. Cause everybody know, because I don't say his name before, but he left us some great work. He left us some great work. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. The bitch can't be double back cast, PR. Oh god. I'm about to fire this man. <sighs> Nigga shit. Um Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. She can't be a wife to put a ring on her finger. I I, I want to argue this so bad, but I'm not. You're not? No, uh, I, I mean. Because you're two years in, my bad. Well, that, but I mean. I, <laughs> I, I don't control the access to the relationship from my dad. 
a woman control access to sex. I, I mean, how you gonna fuck with the bitch don't give no pussy? <laughs> well, how you gonna rape the bitch? Eh? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, damn. I ain't we gotta rape. Well, hey, you said I'm like, well, there are ways. This nigga is a rapist. But... <laughs> 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 when you said it, you're like, yeah. how are you gonna do it? Like, well, you see no way that shit makes sense. I was gonna say like, there are ways. Nigga is a rapist. Going but to purge, women, God damn <laughs> women do that. They do. They draw the value of. But I mean, the the man can can dictate that to a woman too. Like as far as the sex, like sometimes women yeah, want the sex and the man's push. holding out and and. Want that want that <laughs> you want we that always push. do. All right, we're fucking grown ass men. Of course we do. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna see it, great man. We're we'll gonna let them folks think about that. <laughs> Hypergamy. <laughs> The definition of hypergamy is when a woman date past what she offer. If she make forty thousand, she want to date a nigga that make one hundred fifty. Okay, that's called hypergamy. How do you feel about that? Um, I think that's smart. <laughs> like, what makes it smart? Why wouldn't you want to date somebody that's doing well? Why the fuck would you date somebody that ain't doing well? Or if you make it twenty thousand, you want a mother to make it twenty thousand? Put them motherfucking twenties together. I'm just saying, like you twenty and forty. And now you got, and now you got forty, and your ass still broke. Now hold up, now hold up. Now you poor. Now All you right. double poor. I'm fit break this. You poor shit. plus poor. I'm fit break this shit down. I'm just saying. If both of us, my old lady made more money than I do. Way more money than I do. She makes way more money than I do. Damn, pimp. Yeah. Damn, I, damn shit. I, I mean, ain't bullshit. Like I, mean, I didn't know. Trying to find that. I mean, it's just how it happens. All right. So let me break it down on a economical level. So if she make twenty thousand, I make twenty thousand. When it's time to go out, good to luck, eat, man. Good <laughs> luck, bro. Like what y'all eating, motherfucker? <laughs> when we go out, I say, hey, babe, we need to go to Kroger. <laughs> Chicken. That's gonna be we a short ass goddamn receipt, man. I mean, we <laughs> that match to me like a motherfucker. We gonna get some chicken. <laughs> Gonna cook it, <clears throat> man. You better get some motherfucking Ziploc bags and freeze some get shit. Some spaghetti, bro. You better start. Going, no, I'm going deep. I'm going deep. I'm digging right now. Man, you better get some Doing peanut butter. Like <laughs> you better get some peanut butter and some bread, dog. That See, shit gonna be you, rough. There you go. I'm going digging deep. I said, baby, you only get the chicken. <laughs> Got to get the flour, spaghetti. That's what we're gonna eat tonight. Yeah, tonight. Can, tonight. That's it. That's the one night. <laughs> we can't go. FB's two for twenty. That's on Friday. After both of us get paid. We hit, it. bro. We hit the FB's. Now follow me, brother. I got. I'm, 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 man. I'm on I fifty five, and I'm about, I'm about to come around the expressway, <laughs> and we gonna do that. Now, baby, the way we gonna get out of this shit, cause we broke as hell. When we get our income tax, we gonna open up a business. So we gonna wait a year for some money to get some crab legs in this motherfucker. While the world go, crab legs once I'm a still year. On the road. That's how we live in, baby. That's how we live in, baby. There's a parade in my city, bro. So no, follow. I'm, I'm, no, no. Don't you stop this hey, train. Go don't. ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Do your thing. When we get our income tax, baby, because we broke <laughs> and we poor as hell. Absolutely. When we get them income tax, we gonna open up a business. <sighs> now, in the process of that. Think about it. What you said was true. In a year, y'all gotta every day y'all gotta communicate. Hey, baby, you gonna get your hair done? Well, we can't. You know, we can't do that Saturday. Can't get. It. I'm gonna get my partner to cut my hair free. It bonds you. And what we lost in this generation is the older people. They used to grow their vegetables in the yard. What, what you like telling a bitch right now? Hey, little bitch, you want some tomatoes? We want to grow them hoes. That's very true. That's very true. The but older it, people that I knew, they grew their vegetables. But it goes the, back. The, 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 the daddy would go fish in sardas. Right. We kept the money tight so we can get right. We came from that, and that's why relationship ain't last, I think. And it goes back to what I was trying to say. Mm -hmm. Social media. Mm -hmm. Because options. Back then, you didn't have them options. You you, you, you found somebody, that's who you're going to be with the rest of your right. mother's life until she yeah. die. Maybe yeah. you'll find a new Martha or something, mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, like, nowadays, everybody's got so many 
fucking options, you can just go find some goddamn body. I met my dad at a fucking pool hall. Now, me, me, me and my girl met at a, just randomly. Did you hit the eight ball in? Did you win? Oh, I won. <laughs> oh, I won. Eight yeah. ball, corner pocket for sure. But, yes, sir, ski. But, like, like that was just sheer luck. Like, I didn't, I wasn't out looking for no girl. I was, I was there to play pool. I was in the pool league, and I met a girl that was, happened to live down the street, and was coming down there to hang out with her friend. Uh, and and I'm and that's but how if I you think about it. Look at the essence of that, and look how natural that was at a pool hall. Very, very organic. Mm -hmm. Very organic. Very I natural. Think, I think if we gonna make relationship last, we got to get back to them um, organic steps. We can't do the same shit. And that's what I'm saying. Like everybody on fucking TikTok and Snapchat and all the <sighs> Instagram and all that shit. Everybody wants to like a picture and and hope they get a response. Like like what what are we doing? Um, what are we even doing? I'm going to say this, and we're going to the next point. Back in the day, before you could take a woman out, you had to meet her family. Exactly. You had to go to the house because and meet her family. Now, imagine the, how that was The girl, me. and Cash is know this, ain't no man going to be able to take his daughter out when she get of age. He ain't going to say, she ain't going to say, we ain't going to say, Dad, I'm gone. He going to be like, who the hell are you going with? This is it. But if you tell women this Today, they're going to call you cheap. When I say, how about we have a couple days at your house, the family get to know me. All right? Yep. That's how it makes last. Yep. All right. That's old school, though. All right. Women on their period. <laughs> Man, if it does fucking cancel. I right, must do ahead. this. I'm a man. Avid. We just got started. You don't get us canceled. Go ahead. Uh, that's okay. All right. They're going to like it. They're going to like it. <laughs> We don't see. I am a man advocate. I advocate for men. I'm on that team. I ain't okay. on that manners for shit. All that shit I ain't on. But a woman on period. Why you can't? Say <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know where you finna do. Go ahead, man. Go on, do it. Boy, oh, this shit, bro. This God's work. This God's work, man. Go on, do it, man. This God's work. I'm with you, Rich. All right. When she on a period. You got two women. You got one woman that cause she can't get pleasure, she won't do nothing. But what about the one for suck your dick? You on your period, you can suck the dick. That you can suck the motherfucker. You know, you know better than that, Rick. You don't be able to know girls. So about you want to leave me? Well, you know that ain't gonna work, Rick. So you, you just gonna leave me? Yeah, yeah. You cannot. You gonna leave me that. out here for a week? No, you better put that motherfucking towel down. And get your ass to work. Oh, shit. I ain't speak that. Yep. Yeah, put that motherfucking towel down and get to work, buddy. I did this shit once. If a horse can walk through mud, you can fuck through blood. Then get your ass to work. <sighs> God damn. This shit real as hell. Boy. I'm just, I'm just digging you real. Ain't no one lie brought to you about Mivit Podcast. I let me mind. Oh, it's real. But every man, depending on the woman he got, she be like, I don't want to do it. I don't know. You know I mean, this thing. I mean, this time, we are supposed to be having well, sausage dicks. You the one talking about putting some spice back in it. If her ass ain't willing to fuck with she on a period, then she ain't willing to put no spice back into nothing. Oh, that's so real, man. Yep. I'm just being real with you. Boy, that's so real. I just, I just got to be honest with you. You the one, Damien, you, 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 you put it out there. I just got to tell you my, my opinion on it. Every man done done it. Yeah, the fuck? I ain't gonna lie to you. You ain't mad. I even knew you did it. But you did it. This shit felt sticky. It's a little different. It sticky. Like that, damn. It smells okay. like penis when you get done. It smells like penis. I didn't look down. It smells like copper and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird, but. I ain't looked down. This shit was sticky, though. I was like, God damn. I'm like, fuck it. I'm like, I can't even think. I can't remember who, what comic it was. Yeah, I can't think of what comic it was. I'm like, it's like a murder scene. Like, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. God, hell no. I ain't never looked down. All right, that's enough, man. <laughs> All right, we got one more point. <laughs> you don't want to brought this shit up, Rick. All right, we're going one more point. Internet dating. Ew. I've done that shit, man. Ew, man. That shit's gross. It's crazy. That shit is gross, bro. Why you say it's gross? I, 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 I got to imagine that dudes are just on there asking for pussy. And girls are on there constantly saying no. <laughs> And, and then it's like, <clears throat> I, I, I I don't I just don't get how you find I don't I don't get it I don't see how you can find somebody on the internet that you don't know shit about. Like if we're friends on Facebook and I know you, you 
and we done met. You sent a didn't. messenger. Yeah, I know. I was, I was gonna say you didn't talk to him and shit, but I mean, I still think like, what are y'all? What are you looking for? What are you on here even fucking looking for? Is the dude on there looking for some pussy? Is the girl on there saying no? Why the dude? Hold she up, seems man. creepy. Hold up, bro. You setting us out now. I just, oh goddamn! I you think that's what it, I think that's got to be the majority. Why I got me looking for? I want love. You looking for love in all the wrong places? I said me and emotions. That's bullshit. Not on no motherfucker. Well, Tinder. You ever go on Tinder Hell and find yeah. love? Boy, I had a Tinder date. You ever go on Bumble and find love? The fuck? I had a Tinder date that was fine. Did you love her? Uh, no, no, exactly. You didn't. You say you looking for love. You didn't say you looking for some. Exactly what I was just saying. Man, I found one little Kate Michelle, boy. Dudes on her walking pussy. I took her ass to, um. I mean, find you a little thought of something on her, I'm sure. Oh. Uh, but, I mean, that's. Next. Is that not what you want? Pearl Oyster House. I took her to Pearl Oyster House. You took a Tinder date to Pearl Oyster House. Shit. To Pearl. Chargor. Char it's called Chargor. Uh, um, what's those names? The fucking oysters, man. Oysters. Oh, God damn. Pearl's Oyster House. Man, I thought I had one. Why did you do that? I tried to go big. That was big. a mistake, Rich. I was trying to go big before yeah, I go Yeah, you fucked up. Boy, I had If you had done that to one of your dads in the past, they would have probably still been with your ass. Fucking tender dates, you taking the Pearl's Oyster House? You didn't take none of the other dads to Pearl's Oyster House, did you? I showed them. See what the fuck I'm talking about? I took them out bees, too. See what I'm talking about? Yes. All right. Pearl. I, I took Just so we agree. Out bees. Don't. Boneless wings. When this he man. <laughs> Man took the girl to get, <laughs> man took this guy did some chicken nuggets Bone and you wonder why she don't stay around. He went to the girl and did some chicken nuggets and wonder why she ain't still there. They got the they got the <laughs> they got, <laughs> they, got <laughs> they got shrimp pasta so good so good the two for one margaritas all that sugar in that oh, motherfucker damn that margarita was sugar as hell you gotta hey, be Kool Aid look that's a Kool Aid ain't eh? margarita Kool Aid ain't eh? the fuck they take a bucket and pull some goddamn shit and then they. Ladle that shit into a cup. <laughs> that microwave. Like when you work at a food place, you realize how simple food is. It took for a long time. Dude. I shit in the microwave. The spinach dip been put in the microwave. <laughs> they definitely microwave They microwave the spinach dip. <laughs> That's why the goddamn. Don't think that shit hot. smoke. That's why they like, so don't touch the shit. That boy be hot in the when you touch it. Oh, man. Um, in bringing back relationships, we're going to have to accept each other. For who we are, and we're gonna have to work together. Now, initially, yeah. you was right. Two twenty thousand dollars motherfucker broke. But if you're two thirty, you gotta put your money together. It, it it makes you make a decision. Yeah. It makes your woman. She with you because she made a decision. I mean, yeah, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, if, if that's all you're doing and she's gonna be with you for on the, on the ride, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. and 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 you got some ambition and you want to, you, you are eventually going to get to a spot. Ambition. Ambition is. You know what I'm saying? Then, then maybe she sees that and, and maybe she'll, she'll stick behind you and throw a little 20 grand with, with what you got going we'll on. Put it in the and, pot. And right. And then, and then you we, can, We you know, We got to go back. Level to, up. We got to go back to old school values. I can't take you out every night. I know as you brought up social media, I can't take you to uh, Mexico, baby. I ain't we shining got, for everybody else. Right. I don't need to shine for, for your friends. If but we don't know shine, we don't know shine, and I don't need nobody to know we shine. I can't take you out. <clears throat> I can't try to keep up with taking to all these trips. We're gonna save our money up, right? Like you said, we broke as hell anyway. We already broke. We get our money. We're gonna invest in the business, and we're gonna change our family tree. We got to get back to old school values, and that's how we're gonna make relationships work. If we don't stick to that, it ain't gonna happen. All right, <laughs> it's time for questions. Segway. First question. The first know. question will be a motherfucker. All right. I want you to tell the truth. Okay. Did you vote for Trump? No. Hell no. I, it's not even Trump. I, honestly, it's not even Trump. I think dude is at least entertaining. Mm -hmm. He's a shitty president. He's at mm -hmm. least entertaining. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's like LeBron. Right. It's like it's it's it's, it's honestly like LeBron. Mm -hmm. I don't. LeBron is whatever. But his fucking fans. Piss me off so goddamn much. I hate them. They and normally cowboy and, fans too. Exactly. Exactly. Normally cowboy fans. And then so, normally so like Trump supporters. Fans. Trump supporters and LeBron fans to me are the same goddamn people. They ain't gonna agree with each other, but I swear to God, they got that same type of mentality where it's just like I don't give a fuck what he does. That's my man. I'm with him. I'm with him. You hear the you hear the pickup truck drag. Grab him by the pussy. Like he don't like they don't give a fuck about anything he's done or said. So no, nah, hell no, nah, I ain't fucking no motherfucking Trump. All right. 
I didn't want one for Biden punk ass, but whatever. Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. That bitch. Uh, damn, okay. we should have got Joe like six years ago. Yeah, yeah. I ain't no. I ain't no big. Six fan. years ago, he was fine. Yeah, all I, right. I like Tomlin though. Do you use? I gotta ask this question. I'm asking all men now. I don't realize. Do you use sexual enhancements? You talking about like uh like Seattle? You know what the fuck I'm talking about? Dick pills? You know what the fuck I'm talking I'm about? I'm 36 years old, bro. I'm not using dick pills. You've never used a sexual. So enhancement. I am jet. No, I'm straight. I'm no. I've never had to. So as soon as you see it, ba boom. Sometimes. <laughs> Uh, damn. <laughs> Not every time. Oh, damn. Damn. Sometimes it don't work like that. But no, yeah. I mean, I, I'm just no, just no problem with it. You know, it's just a chemical um, thing. Shit. I see people doing the honey and all that kind of shit nowadays. That's, yeah, the honey. It's right, it's right, like right on the, the mirror and shit. Yeah. Yeah, let me get the silver. <laughs> yeah, all right. I need the gold, honey. <laughs> Do you believe a woman should have male friends? Um, I mean, it depends on how, how far that goes, right? Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> a female with like that gay friend, mm -hmm. I never, I never trust that shit. I never <laughs> trust that shit. I never trust that he shit. He's just my friend. Why is he tripping? He, he like you women. know he's gay. He like, like right. women. Like, all right, we'll see how gay this motherfucker is until we break up. And y'all asking him in a motherfucking relationship. I'll run your ass over. Like, that that's exactly how I feel about that. Uh -huh. But it's like my girl, once again, she is in a massive company. There's a lot of people that she has to deal mm -hmm. with. A lot of them are dudes. And they call her in the middle of the night sometimes, like, well, look, we got a problem with this on the thing and this and that, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> I, done, I done choked this man's ass up. Either way, <coughs> she has to have dude friends, you know? <coughs> yeah, damn, this shit went in the wrong back. <coughs> but it, but it ain't gonna be none of that. Oh yeah, yeah you got a man, man, but can you have friends? Type shit. Like, can you have friends? No. All right, this would be a real question. It's gonna test you. you no, know I love you. I pass the test all the time. You no, know I love you, but I gotta ask you this. Okay. You need to be you need to be real with this. I'm man, be very. I'm. I'm well, folks, for the seals all together. Have you ever said the n word with one of your white counterparts? No, because I don't have any white counterparts to say it to, Ricky. I didn't grow up with white people, Rich. Like, I think sometimes white people get right. Man, them niggas is going crazy. I'm not more than Wallen, bro. I'm not throwing out no motherfucking N words out in the middle of my goddamn. I don't give a damn, because I like to say, I ain't saying honky, I don't know when. I want to say, damn honky. Like when you're driving out of traffic. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to look, I'm going to tell you the shittiest you part. What? I said, who says that? I, I, sometimes when the white folks in traffic and they get up on me, you goddamn honky. I do want to say that, but but, I, but, I, but you got to understand, and I'm I'm telling you this from my side to your side. <clears throat> saying that does not bother anybody on the white side. Calling me a honky does nothing. I'm not goddamn like, honky. But if I turn around and say the magic word, shit, man, we're gonna clear the room, man. That's gonna be it. It's gonna be it. Everybody gonna be on my ass. It's been nine on one podcast, then all the shit coming down. And I'm talking about. <laughs> White dude got burnt, burnt alive outside the goddamn <laughs> studio the other day. Hey, man, we done said it. Over on Winchester, white boy got burnt up. Like, that's what it would be. But the other way around, if you call me a cracker or a honky, I don't give a crack him. Yeah, is that that God bothers damn me? honky. That doesn't bother me at all. All right, we got that out the way, so we ain't got to do it no more. Yeah. All right, man, so get the people your social media. They're going to be following you, looking at you, giving your social media. You know your camera. It's all uh, Sean Frazier. It's Sean Frazier on Facebook. It's Corey Sean Frazier on Facebook. Sean Frazier on Put Instagram. Show this up, man. You don't look confident. There you go. Man, you like a man now. Nah, fuck that. Um, yeah, it's all <laughs> it's all Sean Frazier. Corey Sean Frazier, Sean Frazier. Either way, yeah. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. So that's you all got, I do. You got anything else coming up? Anything that? No, not right now. I ain't been doing nothing right. in a while. I'm going to give my partner a shout out. Uh, every Friday at K3 Studios. My partner, uh, Eddie Ray, he has an amazing open Funny mic. Funny man, Eddie Ray. Funny man, Eddie Ray. He has an amazing open mic. They got food. They got music. Y'all been watching it. Please support. See, uh, <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of when the Titans left. And if you know why the Titans left, it's because they weren't getting no support. They was down there at Liberty Bowl working out. You could have met Steve McNair and everything. We ain't support them, and they left. And it's so sad that our Memphis talent feel they got to leave Memphis to be successful when Memphis really support. Yep. So it's K3 Studios, Eddie Ray, 
We got this, this open mic has live performers. They be in there singing everything. It's really good. They got good drinks. They got good food. We need to support it. <clears throat> me personally, I'll be there every Friday. You can holler at me there. Uh, I'll be there performing. Uh, we trying to draw it up to be big. It's a black owned business. We do not support enough. We support everybody else but ourselves. But that's enough. You don't hear enough entertainment. This is 901 Live, brought to you by Memphis Podcast. Holla at me, mine!